oh, 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 Welcome back to my tutorials, welcome back to my channel, of course, and today I'm going to show you how to use the spawner gadget. So, to get the spawner gadget or to spawn AIs, all you have to go is to go to gadgets, other gadgets, and we're going to go to the second page in the bottom left, and there you go, we can place it down. So now we're going to click, uh, once we have it down, we're going to click on the configure tool up in our make pen. I'm going to click on the configure button, set object, and then we're just going to choose our mob. We have, <coughs> we have every single sort of enemy here. You guys might have a better selection if you're on, um, if you're on PC via. But that is everything currently, and once you have it spawned in, like I've chosen a melee goblin, um, to start spawning, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go to props, and we're gonna get a button. Well, you can use anything really. You can use a trigger zone to spawn it in. You can use a button to spawn them in. You can use any sort of. You can use anything that outputs one or over one. So let's just. Now, now you can see that we've overcome the problem. It says no nav mesh present. So to get a nav mesh, all you're gonna do is go to here. And while I'm going to the menu, I'm just gonna explain. So don't <coughs> don't worry about the name. Um, I'm making a map for me. And let's just go to settings on our, on this room. I'm gonna scroll all the way down until we see. AI and nav mesh. So before we bake a nav mesh, I'm gonna show you what it is. So first, we want to press show in room. So of course we know stuff. So now that we have this room, like showing the settings, this is the nav mesh is basically where the where the mob can go, and if it hits the certain boundary, then it will just dodge that place and move back around until it sees the other nav mesh. Let me show you. So we're gonna go to the game settings and go to bake nav mesh. And as you can see, we've got quite a big area. Hey guys, you're two minutes into the video. It looks like you're enjoying it. Can I ask you one fucking question? How did this trash stop? Not subbed right now. If you're not subbed right now, then sub. Change that before I go over to your house and kill you. Anyway, guys, back to the video. It tries to, like, automatically bake the nav mesh, if you know what I mean. So, let's, um, oh god. Let me show you how how we can configure the nav mesh. You want to go to the end of it and click configure. And then we're just going to move this. There we go. And we're just going to move this volume um, to the place where we want it to sort of stop this is where it can't go we're gonna go like this so let's say we want it in this tiny just little hut area so there we go i've got the hut ready and it currently hasn't applied because the grid is still here what you want to do is just scroll down again and then press bake nav mesh again and then it will bake and here you go uh here's the much smaller area and let me show you with the with the nav mesh what happens as you can see it's um it can only move around this area if i try and walk out then it will just stand there and not know what to do it's just sort of stuck as you can see uh, it's not moving and then if i go back in the area it'll start following me again. so that's all to do with nav mesh you can go away now you, you can go away now you can go <laughs> One sec. <laughs> okay, so that's how to spawn in sort of AI things. If you want to change the health or anything, it, like anything that happens whenever they spawn, here it is. So you can choose max health. Actually, wait, let me spawn in a weapon. A weapon that doesn't die. Okay. So let's show you the sort of stuff that we can do. We can change the health. So. Let's say if I make the health one, I this, and it will immediately die. Um, we have move speed, so 
let's just say we can change the speed of how fast it goes. So, the fastest it can go is 10, and that's this fast. Which is pretty fast, as you can see. Oh god! There it goes. <laughs> that went really far! Can we get an instant replay on that? That went extremely far out! Oh my god. Right, so we have health bar visibility. Um, I always set that to always. So we can see the health of it, as you can see. Look, it'll show its health. So we're like, okay, it's really low health. I still have it on one hit. <laughs> so we have health bar visibility. Yeah, we've just, we just did that, god. Um, so let me just look at this again. We have behavior on spawn. We can make it disengaged, so when it spawns, it will sees you. So, as you see, it's just standing there. It may do a bit of moving. But, let's see, let's say, if I go into its line of sight, yep, and it will start running to us. There we go. So, so, let's go to configure. Automatically engage combat behavior when finding targets. We can turn that off or on. And that's all of the settings that you can sort of do with that. But we can change the number of things to spawn. So let's say I want to spawn six goblins. Um, let's try that state in now. Um, do I have any more? Yeah. <laughs> they will all spawn. That's all the We can make it so it's on a team. Uh, so team Chloe will spawn on spawn. Team one is on any team. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what it attacks or what it attacks. But, oh, a new weapon. Yes, yeah, so you can change the time between the spawns of these. So let's go like, let's change this, the spawn seconds to five seconds. So, as you'll see, one will spawn. But yeah, they will. Wait, let's do that. So, these will both basically. Could you stop? So that's all of them, and we can apply tags to spawned objects by going like this, and there we go. So we can set tags for these, so they do certain things. So we can we can spawn AIs by basically clicking on anything. Um, literally, like all I've done is just a button, so I can show you uh, how to spawn it. But yeah, make sure to take care of the nav mesh. If it's not working for some reason. Just click on break nav mesh and it will because sometimes people forget this. If they do that bit, that doesn't change their nav mesh. So you always have to click on nav mesh. That's why I think it's like a show in the room while making it. Because then you totally forget that that nav mesh is So that's how to rebake it. Let me just... Let me just so that's all you can do with the spawner AI gadget. You can do more things with CV2, but you're gonna get you're gonna have to get another YouTuber to find that out. So I'll see you guys later. Have fun baking, and I wish to see you on the top charts Sunday. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! I have COVID nineteen. Nineteen.